guys, and welcome to a new-ish series. I'm gonna consider this a new series because, like, each expansion coming out takes about a couple of years. God, I wish we got an Elder Scrolls game every couple of years, but you know. Shadow of my cat crossing the stars, okay. But today we are playing World of Warcraft Dragonflight, and I am so excited because I have, um... As you can probably see, I have already played through Dragonflight, or at least most of it. I'm still doing some, like, extra side quests and whatnot that I missed, but, um, yeah. I, I did everything on my main, so today we are actually going to be leveling an alt. We are going to be leveling my Fury Warrior, Teldrin, who, you know, probably sounds a little familiar. <laughs> Obviously, like, since I have last recorded this, which has been a while... I was kind of going in between what I wanted to do, then I was playing on a copy of my main uh, through Legion. I'm planning on continuing that just on stream at some point. Just do all the older content on stream because we want to play the new stuff as it comes out. Obviously I'm a little late, but yeah. Also since I last recorded World of Warcraft, I've also switched servers. I'm on the infamous Moon Guard now, which uh, does mean I've been getting into role playing. Because, of course, super into OCs and all that sort of thing. So I've been, like, kind of working on Teldrin's backstory in Warcraft. Obviously, he's undead. We'll get more into that later. Just because, once again, I'm still writing it. I'm still figuring out Warcraft lore. I'm still relatively new-ish to the game. I've been playing for a couple of years now. But I still don't know what I'm doing sometimes. But anyway, I think I've blabbed for, well, long enough. We can blab some more in-game, you know? So, especially after the last expansion, Shadowlands, Dragonflight has been a breath of fresh air, lore-wise. Long story short, we are going on an expedition to the Dragon Isles, and we are going to be helping the dragons themselves fight against the Primalists, who we will definitely be learning about a little more. I already have the introduction quest. I was um, doing like the Primal Storms and everything before this came out to get Teldrin geared up, so hopefully we won't struggle. But yeah, essentially our allies are just ready to go. So we are going to go ahead and take the boat. But we need to talk to Toddy here first, so we will go ahead well, and do that. What the wind blew in. You sure look ready. Let's get underway. Yes, please. Great news, Teldrin. The spearhead of our expedition has made landfall in the Dragon Isles. Thanks for the efforts of yourself and other Dragon Scale expedition members. We've established a protected landing site and made contact with the Dragonflight's embassy. Are you prepared to accompany us on our next voyage to the Dragon Isles? Yes, I am. Okay, so we are just gonna have to wait for the boat. Actually, hardly. 13 seconds. There we go. The boat is literally right there. A little less people here than there was on launch day. In fact, launch day was hilarious because the boat was glitched out and wouldn't show up. So, uh, a lot of people ended up jumping on the boat to Colteris over and over because the boats kind of just look the same. But yeah, while we're on the boat, um... I do just want to say we are going to be focusing on the main campaign right now. The side quests in this expansion. The boat ruined my perfect shot. I almost okay, they're just they're just talking about some stuff. Uh, you know what? We'll go up here and get a good view of everything. But yeah, the side quests for this expansion are amazing, and I would love to do them. It's just, you know, it takes a while to record and edit stuff. If I was streaming this, I definitely would. But I want to get through the main campaign, get caught up, and then in the meantime, like if we have any time in between, like the first patch content coming out, then we'll do some side quests. Because I would love to do that. But I just want to focus on making sure we get the main campaign done. Oop, we're off. Here we go. Also, Dragonflight came with this cool new race, Drakthir. They can only be evokers, which is the new class, but... I don't like casters very much, but I actually do like evoker a good bit. For a caster. Obviously, I'm much more about melee. Oh, I forgot. We can go in the crow's nest. We should do that. Yes, take me up there. Woo, we're getting a good view of it now. And you know what? For extra effect, we will just get rid of all that UI. We don't need it unless some dialogue pops up. They're already flying off. We don't have our drake yet, so. We're stuck here. What, what just landed on my bar? Hello? Anomaly detection mark one. Oh, I'm getting stuff. Okay. So... We're already going to be getting some stuff um, and have some like customizations and whatnot unlocked just because my main has it. So that'll save us a lot of time and that's great. I'm glad they did that with this. There we go, here it comes. I love this intro. I'm glad that it does kind of take a little bit even though you have to wait whenever you take the boat back and forth, but it's just so cool. But yeah, this expansion to me has been amazing so far. I'm very happy. I've been having a lot of fun playing through it with Ryder. 
and I'm sure we'll have a lot of fun playing it through together. Look at that lava. I always love some good lava. So the Dragon Isles have been closed off and lost to even the dragons for the past 10,000 years, which... So there's definitely some uh, re-establishing for the dragons to do. That, that was weird. <laughs> Guess they had to set that board out for us, but okay. We are here. Let's see what we need to do next. Welcome to the Dragon Isles. Something is dying horribly. <laughs> Don't mistake the expedition's scholarly pursuits as timidness, Teldrin. We are not recluses studying books in far off towers. We are adventurers, hunting down knowledge firsthand in every corner of Azeroth. That same passion for adventure often leads us into the path of perils and hazards, and a few expedition members have bitten off a little bit more than they could chew. But hey, the danger makes it more fun. Yeah, of course. So we need to rescue three expedition members. We can do that, hopefully. Oh, they have quests for us too, actually. Hopefully I remember how to play a Fury Warrior. It has been like a little bit, not very long. They're my second favorite besides Havoc Demon Hunter, so. Azurathel glances suspiciously at the proto-dragons lurking on the ridge behind him. I'd swear that these proto-dragons edge closer to camp every time I turn my back. Those are not dragons Rathian invited us here to meet. That's another thing. Uh, there's a black dragon named Rathion. He shows up in the Drakthir starting zone, essentially. Uh, shit goes down. This big like primal drake called Razagath appears uh, and is very angry at the actual dragons and everything. So, uh, you know, causes a bunch of havoc. So Rathion and some of the Drakthir, there's uh, some others that obviously go with the horde, but um, go to the Alliance asking for help. That's also kind of why we're here. Proto-dragons are ruthless predators who cannot be reasoned with. Yeah, proto-dragons, drakes, you know. Subtle difference, but important. Who cannot be reasoned with, we must be ruthless in return. Call their numbers and keep the ambitions in check or this expedition will be over before it begins. All right. And one final quest over here. The proto-drakes here are unlike any I've seen before. Their scales appear to be naturally flame resistant, stronger than steel, and don't lose flexibility in the process. Incredible. The artisans are clamoring to get their hands on some to work with. Start with the whelps. The smaller scales kill the babies. Great. The smaller scales should be pliable until we've mastered our techniques with them. Okay, so kill big proto-drakes, gather their scales, that just hadn't disappeared yet, and save a few people. Okay. Guess we're heading towards an embassy after this, so... Looks like we already have some people uh, killing some of them. I do have skinning and leather working, I think, on Teldrin, so there we go. Get some of that in. God, I really hope I remember how to even play this. Do I? I don't know. A little bit. There, that's Whirlwind. That's right. Okay. We'll get back into the hang of it. It just might take me a bit. Oh, oh, let's help them. Need to kill them too, so why not? God, I really could just skin all of these. I mean, I guess I might as well. That is something that um, they reworked with Dragonflight is the professions. And I'm very excited about that. I've been having fun with it on Rindris. And I really want to get all my alts to where they are um, able to craft stuff and kind of all help each other out. Cause sometimes you can make something with one profession that another profession might need to use. So we are going to be trying to mess with his professions in this as well. I think in my uh, fury there, I accidentally killed this rabbit. That was so sad. This is always just going to be an abrupt pause to skin all of these guys. But hey, it's worth it. Our skinning is already to 11. I am so glad that I geared up before this too, because that's going to make this a lot easier going into it. Because I know whenever I first got to Shadowlands, when I first started playing, uh, Rindris was not geared up at all. <laughs> And I had a really rough time because I was still getting used to the game and everything. So I didn't want that to happen while recording or anything. So and really all my alts, I geared up. Oh, it looks like our first person in need of a rescue is over here. Are you trapped in bones, sir? Your, oh ma'am, my apologies. Your bony prison. <laughs> I think you could probably have squeezed out of there, but you were probably afraid of the, the drake. Yeah, yeah, I think she was just hiding from the drake there. A lone child, I am so sorry. Okay, you're evading me, you're a god. Never mind. We'll continue on then, don't mind us. Oh, oh, well there's the next guy we need to rescue, that's interesting. How you doing? Do I just grab onto your hooves? I, I throw rocks, okay. <laughs> well, at least we got you out of there. But yeah, I hope me playing a warrior in this doesn't uh, ruin my brand as an annoying demon hunter because believe me, I am still really obsessed with that, but I like having alts too. 
Okay, I guess the last expedition member is over here, so we'll just kind of kill things and move away. Oh, that guy just spawned in. Might as well. Ooh, there's a rare up there, but I don't think we should try that alone. Maybe if we get up there and someone else is already killing it, we'll try. But, uh, yeah. We're, we're doing fine right now, but I don't want to slow our luck. <laughs> Ooh, the lava snail. I have to show you guys this. So these funky little fellas, you can actually get as a mount. And I'm very excited because I'm about to start grinding this on my main. I love these guys. They're so cute. I'm tempted to try to jump past these guys. I don't think I could. I could run away from them. Oh, well. Okay, I'm, I'm jumping away. I'm doing the thing because I am a night elf and I can simply go like this and I don't need to kill all those guys. So I'm going to mess with that. Oh, that is quite the predicament you're in there. Um, I assume I need to go down here to help you. Yes, yes. Sleeping snails. Oh, that's adorable. All right, so there we go. Last member saved. We just need to kill one more proto dragon. And seeing all these- oh, I, I jumped there, but I did not jump. Interesting. But seeing all these, um, obviously alts flying around does remind me. I do- I can technically use my drake and fly around already. I'm pretty sure. I don't think I need to unlock the skill or anything since I'm an alt, but I want to wait- I do like exploring a lot on foot whenever I first get somewhere, so we're not going to be flying around just yet. But I do know I could. I don't want people to yell at me. Oh, we got some friends here. <gasps> I hate that. That's, that's the worst thing about AoE. I didn't want to kill the snail. I love those guys. No, don't, don't you mosey on over here. Get out of here. I want to fight you too. We're done. I killed the snail. I want out of here. Also kind of as we're going, um, I'm not sure how many of you are familiar with like role playing and whatnot in World of Warcraft. I'm kind of gonna have to kill something over here. I guess I'll just get these guys. But there's actually this really cool add-on that I'd like to show you that once again, if you are familiar with it, you probably know about, but if not, like I just think it's the coolest thing in the world. And if you're also someone that loves writing character stories and whatnot, I think you would really appreciate this. And I feel like, you know, on my channel where we play through the story, talk about characters, that's kind of the focus of it. I feel like a lot of you guys would appreciate this. I just need to get out of a uh, Drake hell. <laughs> Maybe they're distracted enough blowing fire at each other. I fell into a hole. And they're also bullying a rabbit. That They saw us for sure, but I'm still running by them. Once again, if we get desperate, we're a night elf. We have shadow meld. I can't, I can't not be a night elf just because of that. It's so useful. Leave me alone. You don't see me. I'm jumping away. I just killed a rabbit. Whoops. Oh, I didn't even shadow meld. I was so distraught about the rabbit. Oh, that's not good. I don't, I don't know if I should be over here. We're just gonna squeeze on past that. Oh, this is the embassy. I was under the impression we were going back to where we were and I was like, I didn't think we wandered this far away, but no, this is definitely the embassy. I am honored to make your acquaintance, Syndrax. Oh, oh, okay. Wow, Toddy's over here. But yeah, before we get into that, the add-on that I was talking about, it's called Total RP3 and it, it's so cool. Like you can literally just write a little profile about your character. And there's, there's a lot more you can do with it too. I just haven't um, really filled out Teldrins very much, but I could also just switch to Rindresses, who is my main. Uh, and you can see like I have a little bit more, I, I'm still working on it, but you know, you can kind of have what you're currently doing in character, out of character stuff, like first glance things people can look at. You can like take notes and then also you can have things for like your companions, like your mounts, your pets, whatever. And then you can also look through just everyone that you have like seen before really. And then you can also take notes on people if you've seen. So like this is writer's character and then these are a couple of people we role played with once. And it's just, oh, it's so cool. But yeah, I just wanted to show that off a little bit because I'm sure once I get Things more fleshed out, we will definitely be talking about that. So, let's just turn this into Toddy. The dragons are now here to meet us like Rathion said they would. Well, that's probably not good. Hmm, wonder where Rathion is. He said he'd be here waiting for us with an ambassador for Alexstrasza the Lifebinder, Queen of the Dragons. Does not- Dwarf speak. It does not seem like a dragon to break a promise. 
I, I can't, I don't have the accent for it, you know? Well, at least this eager wee draconid is here to welcome us. Can you talk to him and find out where the others are, or when the others are gonna arrive? All right, let's talk to Syndrax. I love these dudes. I wish that the Drakthir looked like them, honestly. But what can you do? Okay, so we now have our little summary thing over here, which will like show our renown with each of the like major groups in the expansion. Factions, that's, that's a better word. And I think, yeah, okay. So I already have all the glyphs and everything. Since I got them on my main, I just have to get to the right spot to spin them. So we should be able to fly just fine, but I just don't know if I want to yet. It is truly an honor to be the first member of the Dragon Flights to welcome you to these shores. I'm Cadet Syndrax. Please forgive my nerves. This is my first assignment. And what an incredible assignment it is. Welcome again. Should we shake hands? I believe I read somewhere that your kind likes to do that. Have you not seen a night elf before? Syntrax looks away quickly. My apologies, was I staring? You must forgive me, but I've never seen anyone from beyond the Isles before. I've heard stories of your kind, but never seen one of you in, or in person. I almost said in prison. So this used to be an embassy for mortals? According to my history teacher, yes, thousands of years ago, I think he said. History was never my strength though. I trusted the dragon spawn to tell me what I need to know. You can ask Ambassador Fastdraws in the Embassy Tower behind me if you want to learn more. Okay, well, we'll just talk to you about the quest stuff now. Why aren't the yes, dragons here to meet us? I had expected Major Domo Solistra and Rathian to be here by now. But I am honored to be the one to welcome you to the Dragon Isles. On my first real assignment, no less. <laughs> what good fortune. Yeah. Well, that wasn't helpful. <laughs> I do not know. As I said, this is my first assignment. Let me think on what to do. Okay. Nice oh to no, you. but that's just a regular quest. Do I have to turn in the other ones to get the campaign quest? That might be the case. You there. Yes, I'm speaking to you. What else do you see around here? There is a Hulk glances quickly at quite a few passers-by. Ignore them. They are not part of this request. It is you I've heard of. I didn't even, I, whenever I saw him, I thought it was one that I was turning in. <laughs> yeah, that, that was next to him though. But hey, another campaign quest. Want to do these. It is you I've heard of, and you I wish to speak with. The Valdraken Accord has asked me to seek out those who have shown that they are making a name for themselves across the Isles, and those who seek to ensure our allies and their safety remain the highest priority. Do what you do best, friend. You shall be rewarded handsomely. Ah, uh, okay, okay. That's just one of the, like, weekly quests you get, where you want to get 3,000 reputation. You get good stuff out of it. We should be able to do that, no problem. You got those scales yet? Phelan carefully studies the scales. Brilliant, our artisans will have no problem putting these to good use. All right. And see, yeah, we already got 250 reputation from that, so we will be perfectly fine. That may dissuade them from attacking the expedition camps for a time. It's eat or eat, be eaten in the Dragon Isles, Teldrin. You do well to remember that. All right. And there's 500. Okay, I'm gonna go get that flight path. Oh, you know, I may have had a flaw in my system. Because it kind of looked like everyone's quests are marked as side quests, but I'm pretty sure her stuff we're actually supposed to do because now it's telling us to uh, like go to the Onar and Plains already. I don't think we need to do that. So maybe I should do side quests. I don't know. I really thought this was labeled as a campaign quest. So I guess let's just go ahead and see what she wants. Always here to help. Oh, I know what you can do. The Dragon Scale Expedition, Dragon Scale? Dragon Scale Expedition has posted a very fine looking map of the Dragon Isles nearby. Their drawings are quite accurate and detailed, if I do say so myself. Sorry you're not here for an art review. Or, sorry, you're not here for an art review. <laughs> Tone is important. You should go check it out to see what areas of the Dragon Isles could use your help. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so I think this is what we were supposed to do. And first we will start with the Waking Shores, cause that's where we are now. So, you know, kind of makes sense. The Draconid Syndrax is looking for help in aiding all the newcomers within the Waking Shores. All right, so I think this is actually the campaign quest. Also, this stupid rectangle is harassing me again. Ever since they did the UI update, every now and then I just get this dumb rectangle and I don't know why, so I'll have to reload in a second. We already read that, so let's meet with her. Now, <laughs> let me fix this. Always so weird. And yeah, that's still not marked as a campaign quest. Okay, so I thought they were. So I guess we'll technically be doing side quests anyway. We just might be a little selective with what we do at first. I think that's how we'll have to do it. 
But yeah, guys, I think that is where I'm going to go ahead and end this. I've actually been thinking um, kind of how I wanted to do my Let's Plays, try to keep them consistent and whatnot. And I've noticed whenever I record a big batch of one series at a time and kind of small, like not, you know, like 20, 30 minute long intervals, that makes it a lot easier for me to be consistent. So I will be recording more after this, just so we can try to get through as much of this as we can, since now we're apparently are doing side quests. Let's be real, I wanted to do them anyways. The side quests in this are amazing. We'll be fine. There will just probably be a lot of episodes. But yeah, it shouldn't be too much longer until the next episode comes out, so... Hopefully this system works. If you enjoyed this video and are excited for the series, don't forget to leave this video a like. Maybe consider supporting my coffee or Patreon if you want to help out the channel, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.